arm is divided into an anterior compartment and a posterior compartment by medial intermuscular septum and a lateral intermuscular septum. So we are seeing the anterior compartment of arm. Anterior compartment of arm, we got three muscles, biceps breaking. As its name says, it's got two heads. One is a long head and this one is short head. The long head, it is intracapsular and originates from supraglenoid tubercle of scapula. Short head, it origins from tip of coracoid process of scapula along with coracobrachialis muscle. The two tendons converge and forms a tendon and get inserted into the posterior rough part of radial tuberosity. The tendon of the biceps gives an extension we call it as bicipital aponeurosis which extends to ulna and it separates the median cubital vein from brachial artery. Coracobrachialis. Origins from the medial aspect of tip of coracoid process with the short head of biceps brachii and gets inserted into the medial border of humerus. Brachialis muscle. Origin from the anteromedial and the anterolateral surfaces of humerus and it gets inserted into coronoid process and ulna tuberosity goes deep and inserted into the coronoid process and ulna tuberosity. The nerve in the anterior compartment is musculocutaneous nerve. It arises from the lateral cord of brachial plexus in the lower part of axilla. Here you can see brachial plexus. And this is a, this is a, by lifting the biceps brachii, we can see the musculocutaneous nerve. It passes downwards and laterally by piercing the coracobrachialis and supplying the muscle. Then it passes laterally downwards in between biceps brachii and coracobrachialis, reaches the lateral border of biceps brachii and continues as the lateral cutaneous nerve of forearm. On its way, it supplies biceps brachii. Here you can see muscular branches. Motor supply to the brachialis muscle. Artery of the anterior compartment. The artery of anterior compartment is brachial artery. It is a continuation of axillary artery from the lower margin of teres major. It runs downwards and reaches the neck of radius. It divides into radial artery and ulnar artery. Branches of brachial artery. The first branch on lifting the artery, we can see profunda brachial artery. It accompanies the radial nerve into the posterior compartment of arm. Here we can see the superior ulnar collateral artery. And also muscular branches supplying the muscles of the anterior compartment. Three muscles, musculocutaneous nerve and brachial artery. Thank you.